Hey guys, it's Aislinn, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing color remover on my hair. Let me take this down and show you what we're working with. It's been just a couple weeks since I did the pink and black, and I loved it. I lived in it. It was a moment, and now this is what I'm working with. It is like silver and bubblegum pink up here. Basically, I haven't done much. I did a couple vitamin C treatments, which are very mild. It's basically just putting dandruff shampoo on your hair. And then I've been swimming five times. It's summer now, so obviously I'm swimming almost every day. So my hair color fades really quickly in the summertime. I love it, it gives me more options. I can dye my hair like every week and I don't have to worry about trying to damage it and removing the color. All I gotta do is enjoy myself for a nice swim and the color comes out. So that's basically all that's happened. A couple vitamin C treatments and the rest has been chlorine from swimming. So this side definitely has more of that silvery purple vibe. This side isn't as light as this side is underneath the color. You guys know this side was black. So I still have like a medium blonde color underneath of this. So this is kind of like a taupey silver shade. This is straight white underneath. You can see the blue and the pink popping through from where I had this rainbow strand. This color is fading very interestingly. So you can see at my roots, it's faded to more of like a bubblegum pink. And then there's like this band where it's super, super neon. So if I pull my hair apart, you can see like my roots are a lot lighter. And then there's just this really bright band right here. Uh, not sure what that is, but it's there. So let's see if color loops can do anything to help me out. The black has pretty much all come out of my hair, but this pink, this Eero Eero pink does not mess around and I am determined to find a way to get it out of my hair. Like I'm about to go through hell and high water to figure out something that takes it out. Let me just crack open my monster because I'm definitely gonna need it. Mm. Yes, give me that energy I need. I bought three boxes of color oops today. So we're gonna do as many rounds of color oops as I feel is necessary. I'm just gonna mix up step one and two and we're gonna start this process. This stinky, stinky process of color oops. I've done color oops on a lot of different colors before. I have never done it on Eero Eero Pink. So I'm hoping that this will remove it. Like I said, I've used this pink color in the past. I did rainbow hair and I used it and it was impossible to remove. It literally took me like four months to get it to a point where it was like a bubblegum pastel pink. I bleached it. I did so many different things to it and it did not come out of the hair. So I know for sure that like bleach based color removers and bleach in general does not work at getting Eero Eero pink out of the hair. So I'm hoping to try the color oops method and see if this does anything. Literally, if it just lightens it a little bit, I'll be happy. This Eero Eero pink reminds me a lot of Lunar Tides red, orange, and yellow. I did rainbow hair using Lunar Tides quite a while ago. I think it's been a couple years now and I could not get that color out of my hair. I tried so many different color removers that were bleach based and none of them worked at removing it. And so my last resort was using color oops. So then I did a color oops on the leftover um, Lunar Tides shades that I had in my hair and it removed it back to platinum blonde with no issues. I'm hoping that's the same situation that I'm in right now, that the only thing that would work to remove this pink is color oops or something that's not a bleach based color remover. We'll see. I mean, like I said, I've tried a lot of different like color removers in the past on Era Era Pink. I tried the baking soda method, which has developer in it. I tried regular bleach, like straight up bleach on this and it does not remove it. So I don't wanna just jump to that straight out the get go because I know it, it doesn't do a very good job at removing it. Color Oops is not designed to remove semi-permanent colors. It's designed if like you dye your hair too dark of a demi-permanent or a permanent color, it removes that. But in my many times of using color oops, it normally does work at getting semi-permanent color out. It just doesn't claim to, and you're not supposed to use it on there, but it's worked well in the past for me and it's never damaged my hair. So 
I always like to try color oops first whenever I'm trying to remove a difficult color and see what it can do before I resort to anything that has bleach in it or anything that's gonna really damage my hair chemically and make my hair fall out. We'll see. I really wanna find something that removes this for you guys because I know a lot of you guys love this color and so do I. It's such a beautiful shade, but you guys know it's like impossible to remove out of your hair. I'm hoping to find something that can remove it for you guys so that way we can continue to use and love the Eero Eero pink colors because they are one of a kind. Okay, so I'm already through one bottle of Color Oops. So let me mix up another bottle. I don't see anything happening yet. On to the second bottle of Color Oops. When you're using this, you wanna make sure you get enough of the product because if you miss any pieces in your hair, obviously you're still gonna have leftover color in some spots and it's not going to remove the color evenly. So when you're purchasing Color Oops, make sure you're grabbing plenty of boxes. Like grab more than enough just in case. I'm actually very surprised at how much the chlorine has faded this Eero Eero pink. I was not expecting it to do this much and to turn it into like a bubblegum shade, but it's done a really good job and it's especially done a great job at fading out this black color. Very, very impressed. It's like a silvery color now and I'm digging it. Like this isn't bad, you know? This color combo isn't horrible, but the two sides are different. That's my main problem right now with my hair because I dyed the side black and I've been trying to get out the black color. So whenever I put color on top of it to cover it, when it starts fading, you can clearly see these two halves of my head are different colors on the ends. So that's gonna be my next task is trying to even out my hair. This summer, I really wanna do pastel shades. I feel like summer's the perfect time to experiment with pastel colors and try new techniques with some pastel shades. And if I wanna do that, I can't have this side of my head still be like this darker blonde color. It needs to be white like this side is. So I'm gonna see what this does and I'm gonna see if this removes any more of that black color. I did color oops on this side of my head not too long ago when I was trying to remove the black that I had put in here. And it did remove some of the black, but it's still not all the way out of my hair. So I'm hoping me doing this today will maybe get rid of some of that residual black color that I have on my ends. We're gonna see. To be honest with you, I don't really have high hopes for the pink. I don't really think it's gonna do much and I'm not thinking I'm gonna do this and my hair is gonna be blonde. Just knowing this pink and how difficult it's been to remove in the past, I don't think it's gonna be a instance where I do a round of color oops and my hair is back to like a platinum blonde. I just don't think that's gonna happen. Now, I do think my ends are either gonna be blonde or they're going to be like a pastel blue. If my roots lighten up just a little bit to like a pastel pink, that's good enough for me to be able to do pastels and I'll just like work with what I have. I'll probably still dye my hair pastel colors. I'll just have to work with doing like a pastel pink shadow root and then I can dye my ends, you know, rainbow or something like that. I really, really want to do rainbow hair. Um, while I'm filming this, it's the month of June. So it's Pride Month and I want to have rainbow hair for Pride Month. Also, I've like not been doing a lot of rainbow hair, you know? I've been doing some other colors and I've been switching it up a little bit. So I kind of want to, you know, get back and do some rainbow colors this summer. And now's the time. I'm swimming all the time, you know. It's, it's, the, it's time to do some, some rainbow hair. All right, shower caps on. I have my heating pad behind me. I'm gonna put my heating pad on top of my head, drape a towel on top, set a timer for 20 or 30 minutes, and I'm gonna let this process, and I'll see you guys in around 30 minutes to show you what it looks like, and hopefully it's lifted some of this color out, just a little bit. We just need it to just lift out a little bit. So I'll see you guys for the results in just a little bit, and we'll see if we need to do a round two or not. We're back in action. So that did nothing to my roots. Still pink, love Eero Eero. If you want pink hair for the rest of your life, use Eero Eero Neon Pink. I knew what I was getting myself into, it's all good. Okay, so basically it did remove like the rest of the black on my ends, so now this side is blonde, this side is blonde. I'm, I'm in a little pickle, I'm in a little dilemma here. 
half of me wants to give up now and do a bleach based color remover even though I've done them in the past and it doesn't work very well at removing this pink. I do have Strip Tease by Guy Tang. I also have Pulp Riot Blank Canvas. So I have those two options. I'm thinking about using those. But then the other part of me is like, you still have a whole other like box of color oops. And last time I did semi-permanent black, half rainbow, half black. I used color oops and I had to do two rounds of color oops to get it back to like a platinum shade. Cause there is still some residual semi-permanent black on my hair. So I'm thinking maybe I should just do another round of color oops and see what happens. My hair feels fine. Color oops never makes my hair feel damaged. It never makes my hair fall out. So I think I'm just gonna do another round of color oops and see what happens. Like I already purchased it. I already have it here. Why not just see what happens? Cause most of the time when I've used color oops, the first round kind of strips off the top layer. And then the second round does more of getting all that color out. So I say we just go for it, you know? No harm, no foul, right? And then if this doesn't work, I'll reevaluate my options and we'll see what I'm gonna have to do in the future. The real question is whether I will have hair left by the end of this journey or not. Is a 50-50 chance. Will I have hair or won't I? I don't know. We'll have to wait and find out. I'm really okay with either. You know, a nice buzz cut wouldn't, wouldn't be terrible in the middle of summer. So, hey, I'm down with whatever. I am applying it on damp hair. I don't want to dry blow, dry blow dry. I don't want to blow dry my hair and cause like extra damage. So I'm just going to do it on damp hair. I'm also wondering if it didn't do as much because I've been swimming. So there's like chlorine built up on my hair. So I'm hoping that the first layer broke through the chlorine and broke through some of those chemicals. And then this layer will really help remove the rest of the color. Now, I think that's probably just me trying to be optimistic and hoping that it will work because Internally, deep down inside, I know nothing's gonna remove this pink. And I have no one to blame but myself because you know what? I did it to myself. I did it to myself knowing what I was getting myself into. I've used this color before. I know it's impossible to remove, but I did it anyway. You know, I don't regret it though. I really don't because I'm determined to find a way to remove this, okay? The world needs answers. We have to figure out the cure for this disease, if you will. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be the scientist to figure out the cure. Now, I might lose all my hair in the process, and I might never find the cure, but I'm going to do my damnedest for you guys to try and find something that will remove this pink. The world wants answers, and I'm going to try and find them. Thankfully, I didn't do this Eero Eero pink all over i literally just did it on this area so even if i do have to bleach it which i will um i only have to apply it like down to here so that's good that's good news i also went live while this was processing if you guys want to join when i go live on youtube make sure to turn on my post notifications if you hit that bell that's next to the subscribe button you can say all or none i think and so turn on all so that way when i go live you'll get a notification on your phone so that way you won't miss it and you can come hang out with us there were so many of you like i haven't gone live in probably like six months and back then i would get like a couple hundred people like all the time like it would just be me and a couple hundred of you guys and we'd all hang out but this time there's like over 500 people and i was like excuse me what is this but everyone was really nice still so that's okay. We can have as many people as we want as long as everyone remains nice. We love the niceness. You guys are always so sweet to me and I really appreciate it. I think I'm gonna go live again while this round is processing. It's on and cracking. It is on and cracking. I wonder where that saying came from. I don't know, I guess we'll never know unless I Google it, then I'll know. I'm gonna let this sit for 20 to 30 minutes. Wash it in hot water a whole bunch with dandruff shampoo, try and get all the product out. And I'll be back to show you the finished product. <sighs> Again, don't have high hopes. Don't think it's gonna do anything else, but why not give it a shot? So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Wish me luck.
All right, I'm back. Here is what the second round of Color Oops did. I do definitely think it did more than the first round, but basically just on my ends. You can see now my ends are nice and platinum. This side is a nice blonde shade, and I do think it also removed some of that leftover black color. My ends are a lot more blonde over here than they were before, so it definitely stripped the rest of the semi-permanent black out that I had left over, and it also helped remove some of that demi-permanent black I had left over on my ends over here. It did fade the Eero Eero a tiny bit at my roots. I mean, not really enough to notice, but it did do a little bit of something. I would say the process was worth it, but only because it stripped color out of my ends. <laughs> so here's what we're working with extremely neon roots and pale blonde ends. I feel like strawberry shortcake. And I'm pretty confident that this pink is never gonna come out of my hair. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that or how I'm gonna remove it in the future because I don't think anything is ever going to strip out this pink color. Just know if you do use Eero Eero Pink that it is impossible to get out of your hair and you're gonna be stuck with it for a while. So there's your warning if you wanna use Eero Eero Pink. It's a beautiful shade, but it does stain your hair and it's impossible to get out. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. I post way more of my everyday life on there. The link to that is in the description down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Goodbye. I